So let's wrap up what we've done so far. We've looked at how do you estimate the standard uh, linear factor models. A bunch of techniques, time series regression, cross-sectional regression, either OLS or GLS, which turned out to be the same thing as time series. Uh, the Fama Macbeth, where you can do OLS, you can also do GLS, cross-sectional regression for Fama Macbeth. The GMM, stochastic discount factor approach, either you can use fixed weighting matrix or an optimal weighting matrix. Boy, a lot of things to choose, isn't it? But in the end, they're all roughly the same. That was a lot of the point of what we did. They're really all fitting a line through these points, expect the returns versus beta, and they should fit about the same line and give about the same alpha. In each case, we went through the standard statistical methodology. How do you produce your estimates? How do you produce formulas for the standard errors of the estimates to tell you some sense of sampling uncertainty? How do you produce a test of the asset pricing model, which is that all of the alphas are collectively uh, equal to zero, and that was always of the form a quadratic form in the alphas or a quadratic form in the GTs, which is the same thing as, as the alphas. That's how you do a test. Um, now, the fact that they give roughly the same answer, we, we've, we've actually seen a lot of things that aren't usually done, like these uh, tests in cross-sectional regressions. We've also seen that there's a modern distribution theory beyond IID normal. There's no reason not to update the distribution theory or to verify it by simulation. And a last important note, I've put my statistician hat on today. We've emphasized this test statistic, but we've also emphasized why that isn't the be-all and end-all of econometrics. A model being not rejected is not the same as a model being a good model. Lots of, lots of terrible models are not rejected in the, in the data. That's why in our actual evaluations of asset pricing models, we go on beyond this formal statistical framework we make lots of plots, lots of expected return versus beta plots, lots of diagnostics to try to understand is it a good model as opposed to simply a model that is not rejected by the statistical criterion. Um.